that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space. When you're trying to put things in perspective with you know, 1969 uh, versus now, and I'm thinking, you know, they they came up with this massive, you know, Apollo rocket that, you know, propelled them into space, supposedly. And um, then, you know, it, it, anyway, the, the bottom line is that, w w wait a second, uh, again, getting back to the, not just... <laughs> film footage or whatever, t taking a camera up there, but live, you know, a live telecast in 1969 from the moon. Uh, again, I I have to question the the whole live thing from the, uh, the moon in 1969. Can you imagine our life without the moon? You may have to push our civilization back a thousand years because our ancestors would have to hide in caves after the sunset. That means less time for social and intellectual development and no romantic moonlight dinners. Well, maybe our great, great, great grandparents would have never met. That would have been a disaster. But the moon has dominated ancient civilizations and life in ways we could not imagine today. The lunar calendar is still followed by half of the world today and its accuracy for seasonal changes has nurtured mankind since the beginning of human civilization. Scientists have found that the gravitational pull of the moon creates ocean tides and stabilizes the Earth's rotation. Basically without the moon, the Earth would have half the tides and wobble like crazy. Basically, the North Pole could be in the Congo. Life may never have formed without the moon. So now you see we have even more reasons to love our moon. From ancient times, the sun represents the father energy, while the moon represents the feminine energy. And like most females, her beauty is enhanced by her mystery. The moon's existence puzzled many scientists. Our moon is way too big for a small planet like Earth. It sits 400,000 kilometers from the Earth, which makes it look exactly the same size as our sun. Although the sun is 76 million times bigger than the moon. Have you ever wondered why the moon covers 100% of the sun's surface during a total solar eclipse? It is so perfect that it seems as if it was put there by design. And recently, many strange, unexplained structures were found in the sun's corona and on the surface of the moon. Even though we still know too little to say we have the answers, I want to give you a quick tour about some moon theories and share my views with you. Do you believe the moon landing was a hoax? Out of the top 10 conspiracy theories, the moon landing hoax is believed by only 6 to 20 percent of the American public and is the most fascinating one. And this is why. A. The photos. With no atmosphere, how is the American flag placed by Aldrin wave like this? NASA said astronaut Aldrin twisted the flagpole to get some moon soil. And they show the flags that were left on the moon in 2012. But again, that answer itself can be a problem. The hoax theory has been on for 40 years. Why wait till 2012 to release those photos? Is that because someone needed more time to plant the evidence? 
And why did NASA release the video of Aldrin twisting the flagpole instead of just saying it? B. Light and Shadow I won't go into details on how the conspiracy theorists called out suspicious lighting and shadows as evidence, and how mainstream media and NASA disputed it. But after watching all that, there is still a shadow of doubt I can't put off. C. The Radiation Earth is protected, or I should say the space is protected from Earth, by the Van Allen Belt, 1,000 to 60,000 kilometers above the Earth. The Van Allen Belt was discovered in 1958. It is a zone of energetically charged particles, originating from solar wind and captured by Earth's magnetic field. If NASA was willing to risk the astronauts' lives on the Apollo moon mission, do you think they are willing to risk it with the whole world watching? D. Technology When President Kennedy declared his ambition to go to the moon, America devoted its best brains and leading technologies to this mission. However, the powerful computer systems in NASA then is nothing compared to a smartphone in 2007. And our first-hand experience tells us those phones were great at first, but useless after two years. Can you imagine an inferior technology in 1969 could send people to the moon? Remember, still to this day, America is the only nation claiming to have accomplished such a moon mission. E. The winner's the one who finished first. Second place is the name for the loser. Plus, to the United States, going to the moon first is not only to win the space race, but also to keep the promise made by our president. A president that died young for this country. If you are Neil Armstrong, will you do what was asked of you for your country? The reason the debate on the moon landing is still ongoing to this day is because people either believe it is a hoax or they are simply against it. But the truth may lie between black and white. It may be a shade of gray you did not expect. One of the strongest evidences against the fake moon landing is the number of people involved. It may be easy to fill a room full of people, but not a world. There are mission control, data analysis, accounting and janitors working in NASA that saw the process from beginning to end. There's no way that they can be in on something like this and have kept the secret for 50 years, right? Yes and no. Yes, you can't keep a secret like this for 50 years if they are in on that. However, it is easy to fool most of them. There's no doubt that USA has the ability to reach the moon in 1969 because the Soviets did it in 1959. The problem is to get astronauts there and back. Can we have a secret mission to send an unmanned craft to the moon, collect the samples and film footage, and send Apollo 11 for an inner space run? Conspiracy theorists pointed to this footage as evidence on that. To make the footage look perfect can be difficult, but it sure is much easier than landing on the moon. To do this, only a few people need to know. Even the president can be kept out of this one. After all, the moon landing did help defeat the Soviets in the space race. But it is hard to believe our heroes, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, could have conspired to fool us. But they are soldiers in a war against the Soviets. So how can they say no if they were asked? Plus, all the Apollo 11 astronauts retired soon after the mission, and they looked serious and concerned at news conferences. Not the picture we expected to see from someone who just conquered the moon. A non-manned craft to the moon could explain the film footage, moon rock samples, pictures of crafts landing and takeoffs, and the mission does not have to happen at the same time. Is it strange that we would plan a manned moon mission before sending robots first? The Soviets did that in 1959, that was 10 years before Apollo 11. Unbeknownst to most, NASA sent unmanned Apollo Saturn flights from 1966 till 1968, followed by manned Apollo 789 
and 10 from 1967 till 1969, but never attempted any unmanned landings on the moon. Does that make sense? To ensure the success of the mission, at least on TV, there is nothing wrong in asking the astronauts to do a drill. Plus, did you see their faces on those footages? Of course not. There was no air on the moon, so they don't even have to do it themselves. That can explain why only blurry images were sent from NASA. But it is not to say the moon landing is a hoax, because we don't know enough to say that. We can only say it is very suspicious because after such success, why did the United States stop space exploration and only focus on the shuttles? It is not because the space shuttles were doing great. It was a complete disaster. We lost the Challenger in 1986 and the Columbia in 2003, which brought an end to the program. So that is two out of four. Hmm. We have been looking for life beyond Earth for many years now. We have tried really hard to find celestial bodies located in the habitable zones. Recently, we found three planets in TRAPPIST-1. In 2017, some 39 light years away. Last year, we found Proxima Centauri B just 4.2 light years away. And in 2015, two exoplanets were found orbiting Wolf 1061c, some 14 light years away. Have you ever wondered why it looks so far? Our moon is right in the habitable zone. If I were the aliens, that may be the place I want to be. Whatever we don't know, we may soon have an answer, as China is about to launch its manned mission for the moon. Their first orbiter was launched in 2010. The second Chang'e 3 soft landed in 2013. <laughs> Maybe one day we can buy gifts made on the moon. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.